What's up, Virgo? It's your girl, Sid from Savvy Centian, and welcome to your June 2022 money reading. Before we even get into the video, disclaimer, this is not, and I repeat, not a love and light channel. If you are looking for butterflies, rainbows, unicorn farts, and little toad giggles, this is not the place for you. It's not. Just click off. If you are looking for a reader to lie to you, and tell you everything is all good, even though the cards don't really say that. I'm not your girl. However, if you are looking for the truth, serve straight up, like the libations we pour for our ancestors, then this is the place, and I'm your girl. Welcome. All right? If you all are new here, congratulations. You've made it through the disclaimer. <laughs> Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, and understand that you are a real one. If you are not new here, thank you all so much for all of your likes, all of your shares, all of your subscribes, all that you do to build this community. Know that I, I, I greatly appreciate you, okay? Um, and you've been real ones. Know that. If you're looking for personal readings, please make sure that you all uh, check that description box. AbbyCynthia.com is where you'll book. Also in the description box, you'll find links to all the cards used in this reading, a link to my Spiritual Safe Place group on Facebook, and my Patreon and channel membership information. Let's get into your reading, boo. All right. Spirit, speak to me. Speak through me. Tell me the messages that Virgo needs to hear at this time. Give me messages for their highest good. And what is the overall energy of this reading? We have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is a card of balance. For some of you all, your lives are beginning to come into balance, okay? Um, also, this is a card saying that there's a necessity for you to prioritize the things that are most important right now, okay? Some of you all may, may be juggling your priorities and to ease your, your uh, frustration prioritize what is most important, okay? Don't be afraid to delegate responsibility to others as well. Say you need help, friend. All right, so, spirit, what's at the root? What is at the root of Virgo's financial situation? <laughs> Get into it, yeah. All right, Knight of Swords, fast-moving action, fast-moving communication as it pertains to a career, to a passion. Moving quickly, are you getting news coming in about a career? Some of you all may be getting confirmation of a job you apply for. Ace of Swords, a breakthrough, okay? Yeah, so there's definitely some type of communication coming in. Um, it's coming in quickly. Check your email. Don't ignore those phone calls. Because this is in reference to some type of career opportunity. Okay. For some of you, someone may be wanting to work with you on something. Whatever this communication is, it sets you up for uh, success. It's, it's having something to do with like money or your... Hmm. Let me keep going. Um, what is it that Virgo needs to do ASAP? Hmm. I heard accept the offer. <laughs> accept the offer. All right, so we have the three of pentacles with the page of wands. Like I said, somebody wants to work with you. Page of pentacles. Uh, people coming together to work towards a common goal. This may be something... That is new, like a new company, um, a startup. This may be a new business, a new restaurant. Some of you all are in the restaurant industry. And there's a, a restaurant that's, I don't know why, maybe it's a high share, but there's a restaurant that's going to reach out to you. Nine of Pentacles. For some of you all, this may be like a very lucrative restaurant, uh, independently owned, not like a chain 
not part of a restaurant group. For some of you all, this may be that the position that they're offering you is like an independent position where you can make like money on your own, like a server, like a delivery person, like a somebody for somebody it's catering. Like you may not even be an employee of the restaurant, but you may have a resource that the restaurant needs and they want to work with you. Maybe you've been on like Instagram, like grinding, like you make cakes or something. And this restaurant doesn't really have like a pastry chef or anything like that. And they really can't afford a pastry chef, but they can afford to buy a lot of your cakes. <laughs> okay, so maybe they're like wanting to, um, you know, buy cakes from you in bulk or something like that. I don't know. But whatever this is, it feels like for some of you all, it's a position where you can work pretty independently. Um, maybe you're going to be like the head of a department outside of the restaurant. I keep saying restaurant. It doesn't have to be, but that's just what I'm getting for somebody. But even if you're part of a company, it's a position where you, where you have a good amount of independence. Um, with the Two of Swords, it feels like you're needing to... Think about if this position makes logical sense for you, which I, I think that it does. But you're needing to get out of your feelings. Maybe some of you all don't actually want this job. You just applied for it because you needed something. You didn't really expect to get it. And now that they're offering it to you, you're like, uh, I don't really want it though. Well, yeah, it feels like you take it. <laughs> take it because you need these coins. All right? Um... It feels like something that you may actually end up enjoying and be very, really good at, even though it's not really something that you want at the moment. What's blocking, Virgo? Hmm, <laughs> look at you. Look at you. You're overthinking. That's what's blocking you. For some of you all, you might be talking to the wrong people talking to people who maybe used to be in this industry, but they were impatient, they were flighty, they were, you know, let's say like it's a door-to-door -door sales situation. They may have come and gone and you're talking to this person and they're telling you like, oh no, that company is trash, I ain't never made no money, duh, 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 duh. I wouldn't do it if I was you. And then either this is you or maybe this is someone else you talk to who's like, yeah, I've been with this company for mad long and it's taking care of me over the years so i feel like you're in a state of confusion now because you're getting mixed reviews what do you feel what do you feel virgo i feel like you have too many people influencing your decision about whatever this is okay also one of your blockages may be that you are actually looking for like fast money or like you, you're not wanting to be patient. You're wanting to move too fast. But this is a situation that requires patience and longevity. And I feel like it's not even that long. It's just longer than you want to wait. It may be a situation where they're telling you that you get paid every two weeks and then you got that one week in the hole and you're like, I don't want to do that. I keep going back to restaurants. <laughs> Like there's some restaurants, and maybe it's because of my restaurant background, I don't know. But there's some restaurants that will pay you daily. You get tipped out daily. And then there's some restaurants where you got to wait two weeks. And then that first week that you ever work, you got to put it in the hole. So it'll be like three weeks before you ever see a check, maybe a month before you even see a check. And some of you all are on the fence about taking this because you want that fast money. But the gag is that long-term money with the taxes taken out, <laughs> they they will take care of you better. You ever heard of you you get money fast, you, you lose money fast? That fast life kind of money comes and goes when you are making every day. Strippers, drug dealers, y'all know the vibes. <laughs> Here today and gone tomorrow, making it rain and making it back, hopefully. 
All right. Um, what is it that Virgo, where can Virgo find help? Where can Virgo find help? Seven of Wands energy is protecting what they've gained. These people are calling to offer you a job, offer you an opportunity. So you've gained that. And Spirit is saying, protect it. Stand for it. Go for it. Fight for it. Do it. Because this partnership with whoever this is, is going to be a, a, a partnership that gives to you. It's going to be charitable. It's going to be reciprocal. Okay? Not even charitable. It's going to be reciprocal. You're going to get paid fairly for your effort. If you are a cake baker, they are going to pay you what you are worth for those cakes. They're not going to try to shortchange you. Give me one more message about this, Rebecca. Ace of Cups, you're exhausted. Ten of Cups. It feels like you're over people not being there for you, not high priestess. It feels like things up until this point haven't worked out and you're really exhausted. You're really tired of not getting your completion, your happiness, your fulfillment. So with the high priestess energy here, it's like now spirit is delivering to you. Spirit is delivering to you what it is that you've been needing and you're over here looking this gift horse in the mouth, <laughs> second guessing, listening to outside influences. When spirit is handing you an opportunity that's going to help you on a silver platter. Clarify the high priestess. Clarify high priestess. They're giving you options. <laughs> They're giving you options right now. And you are still second guessing the options that spirit is giving you. Bottom of the deck is the magician. Virgo, Gemini, energy. You've been wanting this. You've been needing this. All you've been needing was a break. All you've been needing was a break. Spirit's giving it to you and you're overthinking it. The fuck? What the fuck? Moonology. Messages for Virgo, please. It's a time to give rather than to take. This is the new moon in Virgo. New moon in your own energy. It's a time for you to set intentions. Virgo energy is very grounded. Very practical. It's time for you to set the intention for prosperity, for, for balance, for stability. And spirit is delivering you that on a silver platter and you're second guessing it. This is also a card of reevaluation, doing something different. You've gotten to where you are doing things a certain way and now you're frustrated at where you are. So now it's time to do something different. Your hard work is paying off. They're giving you the opportunity you've been looking for. You've been manifesting. So what you're going to do? Barbecue or meal do? A new start is coming. It's here. It's here, Virgo. Here it is. Now what? Here it goes. <laughs> All right. Rebel, rebel. Talk nice or don't. I don't care. Well, please tell Virgo what they need to hear. Look, you equals tight ass. Loosen up. Control freaks don't get laid. You got what you wanted. You don't get to control how it came, where it comes from. You ask spirit for something. Perhaps you wasn't specific enough. And they delivered the something that you asked for. 
And now you're over here looking crazy like you don't know if you're going to take it. Stop obsessing. You're overthinking. You're doing too much. You are not the fucking center of the universe. Even if you think you are and even if your ancestors think you are. There's so many other things that have to be worked on. Spirit dropped off your little delivery and you looking crazy. And you are being shady. And spirit don't like that. <laughs> Watch out. Shit could get ugly. You're being shady by acting like you don't know if you want whatever spirit just brought you. And they're not going to like that. And if you disrespect what they are bringing you, the manifestation that they are answering for you, it could get real spooky after this. Look, they, they, they gave you what you asked for, Virgo. Come on. Stop being weird. <laughs> what is your advice, Spirit, for Virgo? What is your advice for Virgo? advice you're being toxic <laughs> let go of this obsession the devil energy stop obsessing i literally just told you that in the rebel messages stop obsessing over this all right accept the gift accept the offering daughter of pentacles that they are giving you this is spirit Balancing out your life with the justice card. This is spirit bringing in balance, karmic justice. Everything that you've worked for, you are now receiving it. So stop obsessing over it. Trust it. One thing spirit will never do is lead you wrong. That's your ego that does that. Get up out of that ego. Before you end up messed up again. All right, postcard from spirit, let's hear it. And you can get real aggressive with them too. They feel like they need it. That's too many. Which one should I take? Dear you, now is one of those times where you're being asked to add some distance. Take a step back and do nothing but observe. Don't worry about how long it will take to regroup. Just know it's temporary and actually an opportunity to take a breath. Slow down and look at how far you've come. Decisions for the highest good are made when you have clarity, which comes from being open to information from both intellect and intuition. When you step into the role of the observer, it's as if you turn on a switch that allows your soul to be an essential part of the information gathering process and decision making process. In this way, you can approach things from a more neutral and non-judgmental place. We know you'll make the right choice. Trust us when we say, now is not the time to get too close to the fray. Step back now and you'll be glad you did. All right, so perhaps you are too close to the situation to know which decision you should make. Spirit is saying, my bad, uh, Virgo. <laughs> my camera stopped. Okay, but basically what I was saying is in my sessions, what I tell my clients is to treat yourself as if you are your own best friend, okay? So if you were coming to you with the situation that you currently find yourself in, what would you advise yourself to do? What approach would you tell you, your friend, to take as someone who is unaffected by whatever decisions they make? Considering their best interests, what would be the advice that you give yourself as your best friend? Okay, so definitely you may need to take a step back from the situation and really approach it as the observer in order to make the best decision for your betterment. But spirit is handing you something here. And if you don't take it, I don't know how much more they're going to have to give to you. Okay. And that's all I'm going to say on that. But anyways, this is your reading, Virgo. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time I read for you all, I wish you all love and light. Now go get right, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.